Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I get to unbox and share such a limited edition product that chances are by the time this video is edited and uploaded you won't be able to buy one. It's the NAD C3050 LE limited edition signature integrated amplifier with streaming on board. This is a testament to NAD's 50 years in our industry. 50 years under the same stable ownership, under the same stable ethos and focus and attention to detail. And this product is utterly brilliant. It takes some of the design elements from some of the first pieces that NAD ever produced and adds some of the most advanced features from the latest products that NAD produce. On board is the new MDC2 card. It allows for all of the streaming services, Bluetooth, Airplay 2, uh, MQA, as well as the ability for its sources to be shared through any of the other Blue Off network products. It's utterly stunning. It celebrates NAD's uh, heritage, it celebrates everything good about it, and given the fact that they were founded in 1972, there are 1,972 of these available worldwide. That's it. And I'm lucky enough to be sharing with you today just one. Let's have a look. A departure from NAD's traditional boxes, which are often very muted, you can see that they've added a little bit of colour to celebrate their 50th year. The box itself, like most NAD products, has an emulation of the branding, the logo and some of the features on one side, along with scannable information associated with a model and serial number. It's got some of the compliance stuff on it. It hints to the fact that it's got the MDC2 board on board and the Blue OS and it's HDMI and high res audio, all of those stuff that you expect with something with the pedigree and feature set. We see again a hint of the 50th anniversary and an emulation of all of that on the other side. These are sealed with packing tape, so opening it's really, really straightforward. As always, avoid, if you can, dragging the knife across the whole top of the box. Nick it appropriately. The product itself is protected underneath with a little bit of a cardboard piece of paper. And the very first thing we see is again a nice little celebration to the 50th anniversary and a basic connection guide along with an implication of what's inside. The first thing we see, and I'll just tilt it forward, is uh, one of the accessory packs. Now that is jammed into the closed cell phone that is protecting this unit. The accessories, um, it's the same size and shape as the accessories we see in a number of the other NAD products. It's a simple cardboard sleeve with a window. Inside, we've got its remote control and a couple of AA batteries. The remote control is relatively basic and it is the same that we see in most of the NAD integrated amplifiers. It keeps costs down because let's be honest so many people are not using remotes as people use Spotify and streaming services and Tidal of course the uh, app and its ability to control the amplifier becomes far more important than the remote but this is the new SR10 it has the two AA batteries and input selection as well as the ability to select the device you'd like to control so it can be programmed to actually operate a number of other products, which makes it a little handy as well. Again, looking at the closed cell phone, I mean it's cut brilliantly to ensure that the product is uh, uh, shipped perfectly and supported perfectly in transit. Then, rocking the fingers underneath the unit, you just pull that out and put it off to one side. We see the second layer beneath. Now that's where we see a massive desiccant bag to ensure that the unit is kept uh, dry in transit. And the second accessory box. Now in that box, we see a couple of really critical features. And I alluded to some of the 
modern features that NAD have introduced into a retro styled box. One of the biggest, and by the way there's the power cord, we'll get rid of that quickly so we're not fussing about it. One of the biggest is its Dirac features. It supports Dirac Live. Um, and with that comes with one of the Dirac microphones and a big long cable with a 3.5mm um, mono connection. There's a second bag and that's where there's a USB to 3.5mm adapter allowing that microphone to be connected and control the amplifier itself along with two Wi-Fi aerials. Now I'm going to have a, I'm going to open that because like anything, hang around for the photographs and it's nice to see some of these things plugged in and fitted. So there's a couple of generic Wi-Fi aerials and the dongle allowing you to connect via USB the 3.5mm uh, connection for the direct mic. Okay, and off goes the box. Now, the unit itself. Firstly, because it's, it's got um, NAD's digital hybrid amplification on board, and by the way, it's a, it's a 100 watts a channel, so it's got more than enough power to control the vast majority of speaker loads. More importantly, that's a, um, what do they call, full, full disclosure policy. So it will peak much higher than that. Um, it's rated at a minimum of 100 watts, consistently driving a full frequency response uh, into an 8 ohm load. So it's a very conservative way of measuring its output. Again, the packaging at this point is relatively simple to get into. A classic sort of sticky dot that we see on a lot of these products nowadays means that you can easily sort of um, open the bag and get access to it. Sliding the bag off, I would recommend you then sort of tilt the product over and then pull the bag. The front of the product is protected with a cloth overlay and once you remove it you get a beautiful first look at the brilliant design of this retro product. The first thing to look at is the design emulates some of the very first pieces NAD produced 50 years ago. They've reintroduced some VU meters which are um, superbly accurate. We see beneath those VU meters a traditional sort of on off but um, this like the modern features it has on board isn't a physical switch it's a little relay. Beneath it it's a six and a quarter headphone socket. We've got bass and treble in a traditional analog pot. We've got the ability to select phono, line, optical, coax and HDMI inputs again emulating the retro design that we've seen historically. Then we see the ability to select via a switch the speakers of off, A, B or A and B in a little wee um, rotary switch. Then we see a balance control with a nice fit and finish as far as its uh, central point. To one side we see the Bluos MDC um, lamp and light and the Bluetooth. Uh, these of course will illuminate when those features have been engaged. Above that we have a rotary encoder. Now this is a departure of course from some of the classic designs that uh, NAD produced uh, eons ago. The rotary encoder ensures that you can then control any of the volume selections that you might require. We see centrally the NAD logo and um, the beautiful retro styling associated with its model. Tilting it forward we get the first glimpse of the wood grain uh, that they've added to this limited model and the ventilation to ensure that the product runs cool and won't overheat. The product itself is not very deep meaning that if it's out on display or on a shelf it's not going to start taking up a significant amount of room and it means it's relatively compact given the 100 watts it can deliver. Turning it around we see really where all the magic happens and we see one of the key features that I've alluded to which is the MDC2 um, card pre-fitted and updated ready to go. It's this card that we'll add the uh, Wi-Fi antennas to. Um, we've got at the back obviously the model and serial number and a scannable information. Again the MDC logo and a, a be, a, above that a mirrored plaque celebrating the 50th year 
and a serial number delineating that this is number 415 of the 1,972 that have been manufactured. The card itself, as you've seen in other unboxing videos, uh, features uh, LAN wired connection as well as the antenna for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. There's a single USB input of course as well. Beside that we see some of the characteristics and features associated with the amplifier itself. There's an HDMI for an audio return out of a television and it's eARC so it will do all the modern audio formats as well. There's a single optical digital input, there's a single coaxial digital input and there's an excellent phono preamp on board with a good quality ground. There's a single traditional RCA or line input implying again that um, a product like this isn't designed to have 15 analog inputs and tape loops and other things along those lines with people streaming and utilizing um, sources like Blu-ray players and televisions as part of primary sources there's a limited need for a multitude of analog ins. What we have seen is a repeat of some of the features that we've seen from many of the other amplifiers in NAD's range and that's the ability to, the, to pull out these jumpers and have a pre-out main in loop. The unit could potentially be used as a power amp, that would be a bit disappointing, but as a pre-out it enables you to use this retro small style product to potentially run prestigious amplification and any number of large speakers if required. Beside the pre-out pre -out, we see a single subwoofer output and again that can be utilized as part of the setup. As this features the BlueOS ecosystem, you can run a wireless subwoofer if you choose, and you can use it as part of any number of different BlueOS streaming speakers from anywhere else around your home. The unit itself then has the traditional binding posts. These are five-way binding posts. They're sort of classic and retro in their style, and they have the protective cap to stop people putting the banana plugs in. But, as always, these things are really easy to get rid of if you want and you can use banana plugs or anything you like really easily in them if you choose. These outputs are clearly labelled speakers A and speakers B and again controlled from the front via the switch that you saw. There's a bit of information associated with the uh, voltage and other peculiar things associated with it as, along with um, the standby uh, power consumption of 0.5 watts. We see a really large, good quality rocker switch for the power and an IEC socket with a fuse and fuse holder beneath. So, there we have it. NAD's stunning 50 year anniversary integrated amplifier. 100 watts a channel. Texas Instrument DAX on board. Blue Offs on board. MDC2. EARC all of the features that you'll need, all of the features that you will use and a wonderful balance of those features and the quality delivering a stunning limited edition product. So there we have it. Unboxed with great pride this NAD C3050LE integrated amplifier here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.